A boat traveled 24 miles downstream in two hours. The return trip against the current took twice as long. What was the speed of the boat and the speed of the current? Well, let's begin by identifying variables. Here we let x represent the speed of the boat. And we let c represent the current. Since this is a distance problem, we know distance equals rate times time. And it's often helpful to organize your data in this chart. We have a trip downstream and a trip upstream. The boat traveled 24 miles in, uh, downstream in two hours. So here I'll place a 24 in the D column and a 2 in the time column. Now the average speed of the boat downstream is the speed of the boat plus the current. The average speed of the boat on the return trip against the current then would be the speed of the boat minus C. It says the return trip took twice as long, so if it took two hours to get there, then the return trip would take four hours. Four hours to travel the same distance. Once we organize our data in this chart, we can use it to set up a system. When we use two variables, we want to find two equations. We can use the rows to do that. Distance equals rate times time. So the trip downstream, we have the distance is 24 miles. The average rate here was x plus c times the time, two hours. The second equation can be gotten from the second row. The distance upstream, 24 miles, was equal to the rate x minus c times four. Once we set up a linear system, we can solve it using any method. Here I notice both sides of the first equation are divisible by two, and both sides of the second equation are divisible by four. I'm going to find an equivalent system by doing that first. Dividing both sides here by two leaves us with 12 equals x plus c. Dividing both sides of the second equation by four, we have six equals x minus c. And then you can see the variable c is lined up to eliminate. Let's add these equations together, and that gives us 18 equals 2x. Dividing both sides by two, x equals nine. So the speed of the boat is nine miles an hour. Now we have to back substitute to find the speed of the current. Remember, we could back substitute into any one of the original equations or their equivalent. I'm gonna to choose to back substitute into 12 equals x plus c. In this case, we have 12 equals nine plus c. Subtracting nine on both sides, we then get three equals c. So the speed of the boat is nine miles an hour and the speed of the current then is three miles per hour. All that is left to do is to answer in a sentence.